Yo, hello everyone, I'm Jack the Jack of Knaves, and welcome back to Bioshock. So, in the previous episode, we finished being in places, and now we're in different places. You're almost there. The Spear to Ryan is up on ahead. Yes, so we left Arcadia. Stop it! Ryan's handed the keys to Fort Frolic over to a guy named Sander Cohen. Cohen's an artist, says some. He's a Section 8, says I. I've seen all kinds of cutthroats, freaks, and hard cases in my life. But Cohen, he's a real lunatic. Appear to be getting a little bit of static, but that's fine. Nothing to worry about. Also, Atlas says artist weird. Artist. Weird. I can't even replicate it. So, yes, there are things behind there. I could smash the glass, but apparently, um, Rapture doesn't take too kindly to vandalism, so I'm just not going to do it. Uh, mainly because I would... Excuse me. Oh, there's things up there. Wait, why did I get rid of telekinesis? That's weird. Alright, let me grab telekinesis, because that's infinitely more useful than Hypnotize Big Daddy. And then we can grab things from a distance. I don't care about hacking that right now. Oh. Useful. Let's grab these things. Because I like having things. And it's locked. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just ignore it. I didn't need to go to the atrium anyway. Alright, let's go over here. <laughs> that was an easy level. Hey. Hey. I was gonna use that. Ah, that's better. Atlas Ryan. Atlas Ryan. Da 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 da. Time was, you could get something decent on the radio. The artist has a duty to seduce the ear and delight the spirit. So say goodbye to those two blowhards and hello to an evening with Sander Cohen. All right. I guess we're not going to go on the bathosphere. No. Or walk over there. I haven't seen a sign of real life down here in months. Let's see if you're just another Johnny come lately. Something more. Don't call me delicious. That's awkward. Bees. Embrace the bees. Love the bees. No, oh, I'm out of shotgun ammo. Let's actually, can we take pictures of spider spices? We can. That's actually useful for us. Oh, and then we maxed it out. Excuse me, I'm done with you. I don't need you. Anymore. <laughs> what? Hey, that's not a nice thing to say to someone. Let me teach you some manners. Manners! More manners! That's right. Oh, smell the malt of vinegar in this one. I've waited so long for something tasty to come to this little burg, but all that pass are yokels and rubes. Where are my manners? Come in! Come in! Sander Cohen awaits you! At the Fleet Hall. Oh boy. I'm excited. Not nah, really. <laughs> Sander Cohen's kinda crazy. But I also kinda like him. He's an awesome character. Yeah, so there's Welcome to Fort Frolic. Thank you. 
So there's a fleet hall, that's where Santa Cone is. But... No Stop interrupting me. me. For jamming the transmissions of those boors, Atlas and Ryan. Let them have their squabble. The artist, yes. The artist knows there is richer earth to till. For example, ah. I test you, little mom. But for a reason. I test all my disciples. Some shine like galaxies, and some, some burn like a moth at the flame. Come now into my home. Yeah, so if you can't already tell, uh, Cohen doesn't have all the gears running um, at the same speed. And if you want to argue that fact, um, I will show you concrete evidence in a moment that he is a bit off the rocker. But first, I'm gonna hack this. Looks like we'll need to upgrade our hacking a little bit, because uh, it's getting to dangerous levels of being in danger. Audio diary! You won't lock us in, old man? Oh, that's fine with cops. I used to love you. I used to think you're a musical genius. You know why? Because you paid my rent, you ancient hat! Come on to the record store! I'll show you what I'm thinking. Plinkety plink plink. I'm gonna let these dudes sort this out. Obviously they're having a bit of a squabble and I don't want to interrupt that. They can sort out their own issues. I'm just scared that they're gonna finish their squabble and start attacking me. Ah! Ugh. No, not bees. Zap. I'm done with the pictures. Yay! It's mine. Let's check. There's actually not much in here to use. Could use the sink. Ah, refreshing. Not to grab. Oh, I guess there was a health station. I think it was pre-destroyed. I don't think anything within the... I heard that. I don't know... Where you are, but no. Are you guys still fighting? Whoa. All right, let me intervene. I will be the moderator. I won't be the moderator. They're just busy doing their own thing, so I'll leave them to it. That's distressing. Hmm, just a lot. This place is so unnerving. Just constant levels of uncomfortable feelings. Boop. He's dead. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Give me your random mechanical parts, I guess. I don't know why you're just carrying around, like, tubes. But, you know, more power to you. I need to top off my health. It's, it's actually kind of annoying that it's kind of low. Alright. Here is... If you had any dispute at all... As to whether or not... Cohen was crazy. Also, this is kind of nuts in and of itself. Uh, listen to this audio there. The Wild Bunny. By Sander Cohen. I want to take the ears off, but I can't. I hop, and when I hop, I never get off the ground. It's my curse, my eternal curse. I want to take the ears off, but I can't. It's my curse, it's my fucking curse. I want to take the ears off, please, take them off. Yeah, that's not a normal thing. That's that's not that's like get consulting help. Sort of excuse me. I'm excuse me. Give me your heart. Hey, I guess you didn't have it. Let's hack this safe. Oh, 
the safe is hacked. And we open it, and we get some things that are nice. Um, and then listen to the audio there. I'm shocked at the cold blood that oozes out of these artistic types. This broad cold pepper and that fruit job, Cohen, are in some kind of feud. And Cohen's looking for my security detail to pick sides. The next thing I know, I'm called into Ryan's office to talk about the whole mess. Goddamn nut job on it. Mm. So yeah, that's a little bit of backstory that will become much more relevant later. Um, what you need to know that's important uh, Ryan, or not Ryan, uh, Sander Cohen, the gentleman that is off his rocker and wants to meet us, uh, has an artist feud with another artist called Anna Culpepper. We'll find out more about her later. Yeah, so that's why we need to upgrade our hacking capabilities, um, because we're approaching the point in which we can encounter some impossible hacks. Like that one, you just couldn't, excuse me, you could not hack that. Like it was just completely blocked off. So. Fun times all around. Oh, hello, hi. Oh, oh, I've already finished research for both of you guys. What? What? Why? What did I do? Oh. Uh, so my electricity broke the window. And when you break the windows in this area, uh, yeah, vandalism is a serious crime. Vandals are really serious. Yeah. So don't vandalize. And we gotta deal with this for a minute. Or 30 seconds. <laughs> I mean, I guess now. The silver lining to this is now we have two security bots, but it doesn't make it that much better. And we gotta waste a whole bunch of ammo killing these foolish machines. Alright, let's go. Do I still have two? One, two. Yep. Okay. Uh, the crummy thing is, is I think these two windows don't have anything really useful anyway. Duh. Yeah, I broke this window. The window that has nothing behind it is the window I ended up breaking. That's just crummy. That's just bad. Just bad luck. So, oh well. We'll cope. Once again, we're going around collecting all things that I possibly can. Um, I'm going to break this window. Ha! Ah. You thought I was going to break the window, didn't you? Probably not. You were like, Jack, I already know what you're going to do. Like, yeah. But I tried so hard for that joke. Oh, look. A oh, wait. Oh, look, a turret. Zap. Hack. Yeah, I, I didn't particularly feel like being shot at. Is there anything behind here? No. I occasionally forget where some stuff is. But I do know that we do want to be in here. This is the cigar shop, by the way, which also happens to have tons of alcohol. So maybe it's a... Let's take a look. Fine liquors and tobaccos. Yeah, so it's both. I originally thought it was just a cigar shop, but it turns out it's both. And... Why? Old Tar Coffee is not necessarily selling your brand very well. I'm just going to throw that out there. If I had someone offer me a brand of coffee called tar, I'd be like, probably not. I don't want to drink tar. That sounds gross. Uh, but what is not gross is a power to the people machine. Boop. So let's take a look at our upgrades. Uh, these ones I usually don't care about. I usually upgrade my three main weapons first. Rate of fire I don't care about. Damage maybe. Or clips it. Let's go damage. Boop. So now we have a fully upgraded machine gun, which makes it look cool. And don't call it the LOL gun, because people do, and it's actually kind of annoying. This is not the LOL gun. This is the kill people with bullets gun. You're going to get shot at in two seconds. The frame rates! Oh, jeez. Ah. 
That was weird. Oh, Jesus. What's going on? So I think the act of it shooting just started knocking around all these bottles and this thing, and the game just freaked out. It was just like, oh my god, what do I do with that? Uh, we're also not dead. I just wanted to kill that one person, which I'm not even sure is dead. Um, but there's an auto radar here. Let's pick it up. Beep. Some hide Betty tried to sell me on those fancy Oxford Club CDs. 7774. No thanks. I told her I'm a nickel tie man. Always will be. Why? Well, they smoke good and don't cost half a damn. Who cares if the things are made out of seashells and fish eggs? So that code, if I remember, is important later. Let me actually look at what he says again. Because I don't remember him actually... I think you get that. Oops. Poor Frolic. Some hired Betty tried to Oxford sell me on those fancy Oxford Club Siggies. Mm, no thanks. No, no. I told her I'm a nickel time man. Always will be. Why? Well, they smoke good and don't cost half a damn. Who cares if the things are made out of seashells and fish eggs? I'm gonna try my best not to shoot any more windows, because I don't particularly want to deal with that anymore. Eh, you're dead. I think, unfortunately, in this game, I don't think there's a way that I can check what my progress is on the pack. Or not, um, what my progress is towards research. I think in Bioshock 2, they have a tab, which is very helpful. It also tells you what rewards you can possibly get out of it, which is... Yes. That's okay. I'm not I'm not as just I don't necessarily care too much about knowing what the hacks are. Or not hack, what the rewards are, but I do care about knowing how far I've done it. Because when you forget, then it's just a matter of pulling out your camera every whatchamacallit and then taking a picture and be like, oh nope, I guess research is done on that. So I think we can take a look. Goals, messages, help. Yeah, there's there's no there's no indicator. Um, it's not being creepy. Um, Bioshock 2, there's a tab under those things that tells you, like, hey, you have this much research done on this type of enemy, so do more research. You fool, do more. Let's go through the stuff. Uh, we're nearly going down. I wanted to go over there first, specifically because of the power of the people machine. Um, there's not much else in this area in terms of goodies. We do can do words. Words, m better insects. Bees. Yep. Bees. Better fire. Yeah. Um, and then let's... Let's get another hack slot so we can reduce... The difficulty of hacking. Greatly reduces difficulty when hacking turrets, boss and No, I don't care about it. Hacking turrets and... No, I don't care. Um... Overload tiles, I guess. And then we're out. Oh, that was actually perfect. Um, I think hacking expert should be Bees. Better bees. Um, and we're reaching the end of the episode here. Uh, I want to... One last thing. Check here. This is probably one of the most... There's like three most missed audio diaries. And there's an achievement for getting all the audio diaries. So I would say... Make sure you don't forget this one. That's stuff in the trash can. I'll point out the other two later. Stood up again. Second time this week. Ever since my face was... Well, Simon worked on me, but it was never the same since the blast. Me being alone so much gave the girl time to think. Who could hate me so much they'd ruin me like this? And what did I do to them? You know, I keep thinking of all them bandits and terrorists. Ryan's got locked up in Paula Square, and I get so mad. Sometimes I can hardly breathe. If I could only confront them, tell them what they did to me, how they're ruining everything for me, for rapture, maybe I, well, maybe I feel better. So that will become relevant later. Um, basically all you need to know is Diane McClintock has a slightly messed up face. Eh, not really, I think, I think it's kind of implied that Steinman, I mean, she's the one who got her face messed up in the uh, riots. I'm going to listen to that later. Um, and Steinman worked on her. So she can't be horrible considering the abilities of Adam. 
but I guess she feels like she's incomplete, that people are judging her because of the accident, and now she's pissed. Um, so now she's super entitled, but on top of that, she also feels that she is owed something by the people who caused her the damage in the first place, which were the, uh, um, rebellers, smugglers, etc. Um, so yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, please leave me a like, because it does help me out a lot. And, as always, stay tuned for more.